Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm ringing right now. All is dead. Would All someone is please dead. answer me? All I'm ringing dead. right now. All is dead. Would someone All please answer dead. me? I'm ringing. Paul. This is Chris. Hi, Chris. It's Vince. Hey, Vince. Shouldn't you be in bed? No, not all, no, not all the kids are asleep yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a question. Yeah? Uh, um, and video drivers. And I had a video driver when I had Vista, and then the resolution on it was 1280 by 720. And then um, Windows Update um, automatically detected there was a new driver available for NVIDIA, and I installed it. And when I installed it, 1280 by 720 wasn't um, an option there anymore. So my question is, should I stick with the new driver and just find something close to 1280 by 720, or should I just roll back the driver? Uh, well, I would always go at your native resolution for the LCD, because uh, anything below it and the images just they're not sharp. Uh, it's muddied. Um, but you know, more than more than the video driver, what what's curious is that. You know, usually the, the resolutions on the screen are defined more about from, from the monitor's information file. What kind of monitor do you have? Um, a white screen, um, 17 inch. From? Huh? Who made it? Oh, from, uh, Gateway. Okay. Uh, I wonder, well, you might want to check Gateway's website for the latest monitor definitions. Uh, for specifically for that monitor, or, like, it, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it came with a CD. Uh, that may have the INF files on it. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm, and, and, and I'm not going to say that the video card did not redefine anything um, at all, but usually that, that information is tied specifically into the monitor rather than the video card. They're two completely different uh, beasts, usually. You're on, pardon me, you're on Vista, aren't you? Yeah. Hell, that's, that's another issue altogether. Um, no, but I, I would I, my my inclination would be try sticking with the the current video drivers for now. Check the monitor definitions on Gateway's website, um, uh, and and then from from that point forward, if if that if you can't get that, if you didn't have the CD for the monitor um, or that that came with it, then yeah, roll back. I I wouldn't. I'd never run in a non-native resolution on an LCD screen unless I was forced to or in a temporary capacity. It's just not. It's not sharp. LCDs, the way they're designed, is different from CRTs uh, or cathode ray tubes. I mean, you're, it's a different type of technology. They're designed to run at one resolution and one resolution only. Um, this is uh, w when I was running the real desktop program a couple of weeks ago. It was I was having problems, so I sent the information to the programmer. He says, "Oh, the problem is your your resolution is too high. You need to lower your resolution." And I said, "Uh uh, uh uh, no, dude, no, no, no. You do not sit in front of a 30 inch monitor to lower the resolution. You just don't do those things. I mean, even at even at a smaller monitor, lowering the resolution on an LCD." It, is, it doesn't do you justice. It's, it's just it, it usually it, the the images don't come out very sharp because that's just not the way LCDs were designed to display images. They were designed to to run at one resolution and one resolution only. Okay, thanks, Chris. Hey, it's no problem, Vince. Take care. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye.